Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Kirsten Wise. She's with the University of Kentucky Extension Plant Pathologist there. Good morning, Kirsten. Good morning. Well, I'm so glad you're here today because we're going to talk a little bit about Southern Rust and I know we talk about it each and every year, but I think it's a good reminder just to kind of talk about what it is and what potentially it could mean for the state of Kentucky. Right. I think so, too. I think southern rust is one of those diseases we're annually concerned about here in Kentucky, because if it comes at the right time and we aren't protecting our crop, it can do some really significant damage to yield. And I, I know in your area, the corn looks really good. There's a lot of yield potential this year, and we definitely want to be thinking about and managing this disease so that we keep all that yield potential in our crop. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about, because we've heard about rust, we have, we've seen rust before, but what makes southern rust different? So southern rust, you know, as a refresher, it doesn't survive our Kentucky winters. You know, once those plants dry down, you know, that rust goes away with it. And so each year it's going to blow up from those states to our south and get established. So um, it was kind of hanging down, you know, down in um, Alabama, Louisiana through most of June. And then in early July, it started to take off and move up into Arkansas. And then we have our first confirmation about mid-July. And I know there was some concern that it might be early for Kentucky, but we confirm Southern Rust mid-July every year. So it's really just right on time. And the reason we're concerned about it is because the disease can build up in our fields very quickly if we have the right weather conditions. So I always tell farmers, think about warm days, warm nights is really important. So if we're getting those nights in the 70s, that's great conditions for this disease and frequent moisture. So all the rains that's kind of been going through, this disease likes humidity, moisture, and warm temperatures. And if it has those conditions, then it can build up very quickly if we're not treating corn um, and applying fungicides. Absolutely. And, you know, you have some farmers who say, you know, we talk about this every year, but we really haven't seen anything happen. And, and you mentioned one is probably because, you know, we have a lot of producers who do make those fungicide applications and protect their crop. But for those who might not, we've had the perfect weather conditions. Yes. And yeah, and I think that I think it's great that we haven't seen it be really devastating in a long time. And, and a lot of the credit goes to really timely management. Mm -hmm. And so those fungicide applications need to go on the crop from tasseling up through the milk stage. And so if southern rust is in our area and if your crop is in that stage, that's probably a good indication that you need to be spraying a fungicide. And a lot of our Kentucky farmers do, and that's good. And that also keeps the inoculum down or the, or the amount of spores that are out there down for the farmers that maybe aren't spraying. Um, but I always tell farmers that if you have good yield potential um, and the disease is there and the environment is good, then, you know, it's worth considering a fungicide application to protect the crop. Absolutely. Now, is there a way, I know that, you know, we've said that we have a confirmed case, we have some confirmed cases in Kentucky, but is there a way to kind of track the movement along with the weather patterns? Yes, so we have a website, it's the IPM pipe, um, and it monitors a lot of different diseases, but in particular, we pay attention to it for southern rust monitoring. Now, what happens is, is if we get a sample into our diagnostic lab um, and we confirm southern rust, um, we go into this map and we turn that county red. So if you're looking at this map and you see any red counties in Kentucky, that means that a trained diagnostician has confirmed southern rust in that that county. So that's an indication that, you know, it's time to go out and scout and look and, and be paying attention to what your growth stage is and get a fungicide application lined up if needed. Okay, so monitoring that, scouting your fields, all those things are important, but knowing what growth stage your corn is in is probably critical as well. Yes, and so really that tasseling through milk stage is when that fungicide application needs to go on. So this is a wider window than we think about for like disease management like gray leaf spot or northern corn leaf blight when we're really aiming for tasseling. But if you haven't sprayed a, a fungicide at tassel and we have southern rust come in, you'll want to go back and spray up through that milk stage. 
All right. Well, Kirsten, certainly appreciate the information. And if you have questions or maybe you suspect that you might have Southern Rust, make sure to contact your local extension office so we can get a sample sent into the diagnostic lab. Thanks, Kirsten. And we appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show and have a great day.